Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, I just want to share with you something that happened the other night that there was a uh, protection mode on the battery. When I got up in the morning, the batteries are usually um, around 12.9 on both of these. So when I got up, this one was 11.5 and this one was completely shut off. The breaker was still on, but it would not light up this display at all over here. So it went into a protection mode to keep the battery from being damaged. Um, later on in the day, around 2 o'clock, I went to go turn the breaker back on, and it finally came out of um, protection mode, and it lit up, and it was like 11 point five on there something happened overnight the other night that tripped this because when i came in all these inverters were off because it only had one of the 12 volt batteries on the bottom one didn't have the 12 volt on the top for 24 volts so it shut all the inverters down so i disconnected the batteries with the um, Anderson cable right there. I was able to just pull it apart and I was able to connect two of the batteries together and put an Anderson cable on there, quick connect, and I was able to connect it back up. When I did, I found out that I had both these inverters on, this one and this one, and they're in parallel. When I went to go connect them to the AGM batteries, I found out that this one was still in parallel, but this one reverted back to single mode and it changed my battery settings and also from parallel to single. So when these two tried to pair up, there was an error code right here with a red light and it would not turn on to be able to give me um, 120 volts out. So I went back in here hit the program button like this and i just started going through the displays on here and whatever this was set at on the parallel i did over here as well and usually with these things um right now you can see this one says sl for slave and this one over here is the master so when I, if this is the master and I set this, I don't really need to set this because in the parallel wiring here, whenever I set this one as master, the slave within maybe 30 seconds to a minute will change all those settings in this inverter. But for some reason there was a fault and it made these go back to the um, whatever the, the setting was from the manufacturer. So there was definitely a fault between the two of these. They were no longer set up in parallel. Now, later on in the day, like I said, two o'clock in the afternoon, I tried this top one that I couldn't get to light up and display a, batter, a temp voltage setting. It uh, finally lit up again and it was within a one or two volts of the bottom one. So it went into a protection mode to keep the battery from being damaged. And I was able to just pop these Anderson connectors back in, connect it back up here again, quick disconnect. And I was up and running again, and within two hours, the batteries were fully charged from 11.5. because It was two in the afternoon, I had full sun on everything. And I was able to charge that at like 90 amps going into those uh, lithium iron phosphates. I can only do like 30 amps into these AGMs. So I do like that fact that I can really charge these up quick. They prefer that you charge them around 30 amps, but you can charge them up quickly. Um, nice thing is also in the morning, um, if I need to 
like this one, I borrowed the solar panels from this one that our early sun, and I put them over here on this one. So, cause this is uh, 120, 240. This is 120, 240. And, oh, by the way, we have another one of these grow watts coming here soon. It's a six kilowatt. This one's a 12 kilowatt. So we ended up getting one Oh, it was uh, $823 it'll be delivered for a 6 kilowatt grow watt. And <laughs> that's really cheap. It is a refurbished, but this one was refurbished too. And like I said, you can buy spare boards for these to change out in the field. So that's the one thing I like about these is if something were to go on those, you can change out the boards very easily. So when that happens, more than likely, we're going to lose one of these other ones on the wall and or maybe two of them. We might lose these two right here. And I want to stick with these 24 volts because they really don't use anything overnight. Just from the inverter, they, they use like maybe five watts as where this one and this one will use 50 to 100 watts in standby mode. And this one, it's just like 150 in standby. It's hard to run this thing overnight. It drains my battery. So, but I just wanted to let you know, uh, I, when I went on YouTube, there was no video about these battery Evos going into protective mode. So I wanted to do something on the channel to where I could share with you that when that happens and you see that there was a fault in here, something happened to where it drained that battery quicker than the other one for some reason, or there was a surge in it. Something happened, threw it in protection mode. But if you just give it about six or eight hours, um, for me it was like um, eight hours. It was able to, you know, come out of the protection mode with the uh, sensors they had in there. And I was able to fire it up, and I've had no problems with it. And like I said, this morning when I came out, it was at 12.9 on both batteries. So it hardly used anything. For some reason, there was an anomaly, and it just drained those batteries. Anyways, just want to do a quick update and share that with you. Um... If you like, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos. And I hope you have a truly wonderful and very blessed day. And we'll see you soon. And hopefully in a couple of days, we'll get our other grow watt inverter. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.